How is it going, people? Welcome back to my channel. You can in my room. In her room. Here is what we're opening today. A Elite Trainer Box, Evolving Skies, exclusive to the Pokemon Center. Uh, this is something that Pokemon Center has been doing uh, since I wanna say Chilling Rain was the first set they did this with, so that would make Evolving Skies the second set that has an exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Um, does this one have extra packs? So yeah, this is pretty fun because this one has two additional packs inside of it. Uh, normal ETBs have eight packs. Uh, Pokemon Center ones have 10. Also, I apologize, there's a pack of dogs outside right now. Um, <laughs> we, live, we live in the, uh, the Ghana Sahara Desert. Now, um, so we're, we're gonna be opening this up today. I have seen uh, some people post some pretty disappointing pull rates from ETBs and I myself opened one already, and it actually had Chilling Rain cards in it. Uh, go check out that video, it's really... What? She's not letting me open the box, guys. She's confiscated my box. Um, uh, so go check out that video, by the way, it's weird as heck. Um, and the polls weren't that great. I have seen some people say the Pokemon Center ones have been good, but you'll hear me talk about polls, what has the best polls. At the end of the day, this stuff is just essentially true random. I'm not trying to promote any sort of uh, voodoo heebie-jeebie stuff, but uh, you know, we'll see. I hope we get some cool cards, some hyper rares, some alternate arts. Um, so far, we have, yeah, Aroma Lady is sweet. So far we've got Sylveon V, we've opened that in our other thing. And we've got, where is he? We got uh, Duraludon VMAX alt art, which he showed to the face cam. Uh, this one here, she pulled off cam. So we actually have two alternate arts at the moment, which is sweet. I want some rainbows, to be honest. I've got this one in Japanese, the Sylveon, but I want Umbreon, I want, um, Gyarados, and I want Rayquaza for sure. Those would all be sweet. This is my Grail card, Leafeon VMAX, right there. So anyway, without further ado, let's open up this. We'll put this off to the side. These boxes have a really great looking reflective sheen to them. Uh, really nice looking. I do prefer this one to the uh, the one that features uh, Espeon, Glaceon, etc. because I'm, a, I'm an orange person. Orange is my favorite color. We've got a rule book. We've got a Rastafarian thing. I really love, I really love these dice. These are probably, in my opinion, these are probably the best dice they've ever given. Because uh, you even get this interesting, like, semi-translucent D6. These, are, these dice are legit. Legit. These packs, wait, actually, these sleeves, I mean, are also legit. They look really cool, but they, these are matte. Yeah, I checked the other the other ETB. They're matte, so they're they're really good for playing. Not great for storing for like something you're gonna look at because it takes away lots of the sheen. We've got energy brick, not interesting. Dividers, you know it, love and know, know them and love them. Acrylic, and then oh wait, holy crap! I totally forgot about the cute EV pin. There should be one on the other one, so you can have it. I believe so. Yeah, that is really adorable. I forgot about this. Just to look at, and then there's a big coin in here. Ooh, wow! Whoa. It's like a golden jumbo sized coin featuring the uh, the four evolutions that are on the box. Now that that is pretty cool. Yeah, Umbreon looks really cool in the negative space or whatever you call that. And uh, we're ten pack, so I'm gonna move that off to the side. We have got a heavy a heavy ten packs here, guys. Someone called Leon Heart. We're opening up heavy packs. Um, I'm not gonna shuffle them. I'm kinda, I'm over that lifestyle. I'm trying to stay clean from that sort of superstitions. I'm gonna check my framing here. That looks pretty solid and I'm actually gonna cover up her face again. Cause I don't want it auto detecting a human head. Anyway, let's go. 
How long has it been? Five minutes, no pack opening yet. Sorry, folks, I'm sure most of you are gone. A lot of it was cooking and cut out. <laughs> all right, all right. Alrighty, I will give away the first one of these to you guys, and I'll put it right in recycling. <sighs> one, two, three, four to the front. No damage on the back of this card, so that's good. Hopefully it's good. We've got a lemon. <laughs> Rapid Strike Scroll, Flachinder, Lantern, Dino, Mareep, Wobbuffet, Love Disc, The Dwebble, The Milotich, and a non-foil Appleton. So, no hit yet. No hit yet. Did you hear Esco? Esco's crying at the door. <laughs> Quattro formaggi. Brown. Brown. Sheldon. Wait, that art's really good. Sheldon? The Sheldon art. Mm -hmm. Sheldon. It's cute. This cute's adorable. Molga. Molga. Slack off. Lichman. Lotisk. Cryogonal. And nothing. And nothing. All right, guys, so. We're down to eight packs, so we're, we're, we're down to the regular ETB amount of packs now, and no hits, so we're basically uh, basically back to, to square one, but you never know. You never know how these eight packs will go, and realistically, with some of the cards in this set, it only really takes one card to make an ETB feel really good. Yeah. So we'll see what, what happens. We got a tomato energy. We got the... the <laughs> The, the the squatting hypno. What is pace? Yeah. Vigoroth, Lombre, Teddy Ursa, Mareep, Zorua, Tentacool, Hopip, a reverse foil snow leaf badge, and another dud. Another dud. Let's see what happens. We'll get at least one, right? We'll get at least one. I heard reports of um, white white packs uh, <laughs> having no pull in them and green packs having pulls in them. So you're just messing up in the factory over there? Yeah, there's, there's like a lot yeah, of quality control issues in the Purple Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta tell you Psycho a story later about right. Purple Hulk. Okay. <laughs> Rubber gloves, love it. Boost shape. His. Is that Look at him. There's mine's you have a Snow White. The oh, Minecraft ride. I mean, the yeah, the mine, mine shaft ride. Oh, the mine ride. Right, right. right. Disney World. Switch in cups. I've never even seen that card. Okay, jump, we got something jump cute luff? at the very least. Jump yeah, luff? Jump Luff. Jump, jump Luff is a cool Pokemon, a cute Pokemon, and uh, oh, the dog is trying to burst Should the just door let him now. In? Yeah, I don't mind him in here. <laughs> we have chairs. You can't really get in the way. So we got a hit. That's pretty Just cool. There. I'll leave this over here. And then, all right, we're getting into this pack. What is that, we were halfway through? Yeah, we'll be halfway through once I open this pack. And so far, all we got is a regular dog. A regular pluff. Four, two to prun. We've got metal. We got Shellgon, we got Ice Q, we got uh, Amogus, we got Eevee, Cutie Fly, Hitmonchan, there's something back here. Lotad. Yeah, I see it. Sableye, <laughs> Appleton. What is it? A Suicune V. Now, I don't think I have this. Um, it's got some weird curling on the edges, but this is more so a card for uh, the binder, anyway. Um, it has, an, it has an active ability that doesn't seem too good. I'm not sure how playable this is. If this card is playable, go ahead and let me know in the comments uh, what deck it's currently used in. I'm not too familiar with the post-rotation metagame. All right. Water. Zinnia? Zinnia? Zinnia. Resolve. Zinnia's Resolve. Hippo. Hippodon. Hippodon. Ooh, bat. 
Oh, that's so cute. Ooh, I feel like, I, well, I, feel like I haven't seen that before, that like a uh, little model of it. Okay. okay, we got the crazy drampa. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I have posters underneath you, so I'm awesome. lying. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. That's a strange pack opening right there, guys. Not sure what's going on. Alright, one, two, three, four. I'll give away the next code card, so get your fingers ready, folks. You got the Boba Ball, the Swoobat, the Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountains. That's a good card, I think. Fletchling. Really cute scraggy. Wait, these these are interesting. Hipp Hippopotus, Timpole, Litleo, Hopip, and a Gorgeist. So And Halloween season. It's Halloween season, folks. You heard it here. It's a hot September in San Diego right now. Too hot. So we're what is that? Seven packs in and we got two hits. That's not good. Because they're not even good hits. Code. Mm -hmm. Thank you for remembering because I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered. Oh shit, there's something back there. Green. Avalog. Figaro. Dream Ball. Oh, Rocky. good. Blah, baby. Rock and Roller. Mm -hmm. Bob. Bob Z. Ooh. Dwow Z. <laughs> Well, well, let's see how the quality is on this one. Centering is worse on this one, but it doesn't have a spec that this one has. This one has a spec there. This one's got worse centering, so at the end of the day, I'll probably keep the original one and maybe we'll think about uh, trading this one in for store credit. Uh, but hey, that feels a little bit rough considering that uh, you know, it could have been, this could have been anything. Like this... I should have opened my packs, an, that's what you're saying. An Altar V, no, 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 no. An Altar V Max could have been Rayquaza, that could have been Leafeon, like that. But hey, in a vacuum, um, I'm happy and anyone should be happy with a pull like that. So um, that right there goes a long way towards uh, making up this box. And we got two packs left. Open I'll do a two first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, since we got good luck giving away that code, I'll give away this code to all the freeloaders at home. I did because uh, that makes it harder. That's a <laughs> type it in instead of scanning, and it. Um, there's. It's rumored that there's bots that like oh, just... that watch videos and like auto scan. That's crazy. We got lemon. We got there's lime. Bots for everything. I know, it's ridiculous. We got Trainer Scroll, Trainer Bear, Chinchu Dragon. This card is really good. I'm gonna need to play it at some point. Carvana, Gassifleur, a really cute Pikachu, and Emilotich. Alright, so 3 out of 10, not very good. I'm not sure how much this card costs. Um, you would think that it would be like at least $30 or something like that, and if that's the case, the box is looking pretty decent as far as how much value we lost. But you know, like I said, there is there is value. Oh, I just I just showed the code. I will edit that out so you won't know. Now we uh, know. <laughs> you will not know um, what color that was. We got a meatball energy, a crystal cave, a toy catcher, a Raihan, a Dwebu, Hiplopodal. Zedlula, Slider, Rufflet, another Lion, and another Altaria. That's right, I knew the whole time that was a green code and I was not excited. Um, but as I was saying, um, there is value in opening it itself. It's a fun activity and we got to sit here and hang out and make a video with you guys. Like the viewers at home, you know, we like opening cards and having a good time opening cards. Um, but hey, I don't, I don't necessarily mind getting uh, duplicates of really nice cards because, uh, like I said, uh, my local game store offers a 75% trade-in rate, which is really good. Um, seller's fees suck on eBay, and let me just tell you, I just sold an, a, uh, a signed Walking Dead comic 
um, that I got at Comic Con one year. It's kind of limited thingy. It's for $86. My payout was like in the 60s, the 62 to $65 range after seller's fees. So it's not quite 25%, but I had to list it. I had to go and ship it. And I had to like gather buy the packaging for it and all that time kind of sucks. And if my LGS gives me 75% of this. I walk in, hand it to them. Whoop. <laughs> No questions asked, and I can look at their singles and take something new home for the collection. So I recommend looking around your town, seeing if you got any sweet deals like that available to you. And what do you say? Let me know down below. How have your ETBs been? Um, it's how much? I'm gonna say this is a good ETB because we got an alternate art. Um, and stay tuned because the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to test the theory. You might have seen lots of content creators making videos about this. Um, we're gonna test the theory that the three packs have better hits, better hits than ETBs. I opened three of them and I think I only got three hits actually. So, but one of them was an alt art. So if we open these two and get another really good hit, Watch that'll feel good. Movies. That'll feel good. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, man. You know that that happens to people. It really does. I see it on Twitter. <laughs> Follow me it. on Twitter at Invader Squid. I'm lonely. Follow me on Twitter at Revolting Slob. No G. Do that. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm trying to actually be good about getting my Evolving Skies content out close to the release as opposed to how I handled Battle Styles and Chilling Raid. I was just behind the eight ball constantly. So stay tuned. These should be up soon. We're doing it right now.